Nicole Scott here for Netbook News, and here we have a treat today. We've got the Vizio 8. So this is a 8-inch uh, Android tablet. It's got uh, 1024 by 768 resolution, and it's running the um, 1 gigahertz Marvell processor. Uh, the thing that I find interesting about this tablet is this is the first time Marvell's actually got a uh, tablet or their, their new processor in a tablet, so we can see exactly how it goes. I found it a little bit slow, but why don't we put this aside and uh, continue with the unboxing before we do much else. So here's uh, some tech support. Here's a little quick start guide. So it gives you yeah, how to use it, just in case you don't know anything about apps. Uh, the Vizio 8 tablet is running Android uh, 2.3. Uh, we have a nice little chamois cloth here. This is a USB charger. And here's the cable, and I think that's pretty much it. So why don't we put this aside and take a look at the tablet. So we can see it's got the glossy display, which I hate. Um, but. They're all coming with a glossy display, so I guess I guess I have to deal with it. So here we have the uh, front-facing camera. I believe this is a VGA camera, actually. Uh, around the side here we have the volume rocker. Uh, the bottom we have two, uh, one of the speakers. So you can see that there. Uh, we have the micro USB, mini USB, and that's nothing. <laughs> uh, around the side again we have nothing. Around the top. We have two more speakers. This actually has three speakers total. Uh, here we have the power button, and on the corner there you can kind of see the um, audio audio jack. Around the back there is no back-facing camera. Um, oh, actually, sorry, that's not micro USB. That's uh, mini HDMI. Sorry about that, guys. So on the back you can see we have no back-facing camera. So there's only a front-facing camera. So if we turn it on, oh, we, sorry, we slide across. And you can see Android 2.3, they've given it a kind of this, uh, this skin here. Um, the widget board, I haven't installed any widgets. Uh, you can see on the front here, we have the back, home, and menu buttons. So if we hit the home, uh, we can see in here, let's take a look at some of the photos that I took uh, yesterday. So let's go, let's go to slideshow. Slideshow. So you can see this is where the, the processor is quite slow. Okay, well that's it zooming. So let's turn the camera on so you can actually see um, how slow the camera reacts. Not great at all. Uh, you can switch it over to video as well. We're back here. So let's, uh, here's some of the other photos that I was looking for. So you can see the processor, it really lags when you're pulling up photos. So this is very steady on the BART here in San Francisco. And you can see that there's, there's a fair bit of, um, this is this extreme fuzziness and the, the light is, this is a really bad camera. So do not be uh, thinking that you're gonna have, you know, some great quality photos if this is what you're gonna be playing with. It does have the accelerometer, you can see there. So if we keep on going through, so we do have, oh, there we go. We have Opera Mini on here. It seems to work out pretty good. So let's see how quickly it loads a page. The Wi-Fi here is pretty decent, but just, yeah, that was actually not too bad. Um, the, like, like I said, this 1 gigahertz processor isn't the swiftest of the bunch. Now one of the things that I'm looking forward to playing around with is this universal remote control application. However, I don't actually have a TV to hook it up to right now. So uh, this is to be continued when I can uh, figure out where I can, in San Francisco, access um, a nice wireless TV. Uh, the good thing about this is that the universal remote functionality uh, is meant to actually uh, be compatible with 95% of the consumer electronic devices here in the U.S. Um, it also does have Bluetooth, which is uh, a, a nice feature. So if you're thinking of buying a universal remote, this is kind of one of the big advantages, I believe, to this tablet, is that you can use it to control all of your devices. And a, a universal remote already costs around $200. So, you know, so this, coming in at 280 
is actually a pretty good, um, pretty good deal if you're looking for a universal remote. So this has been just a quick unboxing and a quick look at um, some of the apps here in the Vizio 8 tablet. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News, taking a look at yet another tablet here in San Francisco.